Do I always look like this or is it just like a morning thing? Anyway, good evening. Today I decided I'm gonna do a vlog of like what my day is really like. So I set my alarm for nine. I was gonna be super active because I actually do have loads to do today. Like it's just like a very errandy kind of day. And I just want to be really realistic with you. I did sleep through my alarm and it's been happening every single fucking morning. So I set my alarm at half nine and I've been woken up by a flossy at 12. Like I cannot wake up before 12. I'm lucky if I wake up at 12, it was flossy who woke me up. I've got serious sleeping problems. Like I will sleep happily for 14 hours every night. But you know what? I'm not complaining because realistically I don't really have that many responsibilities. So maybe like this is just years of catching up with sleep because I used to sleep for like four hours in school nights. So this is just like what my body needs. It is now 31 past 12 and I have to do a podcast at half 12. So we're going well so far. Basically my friend Lewis, who we all know and love, does a podcast and it's just like final one for the season today. So he asked if me and Flossie would do like a triple, triple podcast. Oh. Yeah, I'm vlogging Oh, you're today. vlogging. Good yeah. morning. I was going to do about half nine. <laughs> I set my alarm. I set the middle of the night. Yeah, and I came in and ate some garlic sticks. <laughs> I've had this really bad habit recently and it gets quite late at night and I want some food but everywhere's closed in the living room except Papa John's. And recently I tried their cinnamon scrolls because they're vegan and oh my god, they're sensational, aren't they, Fossey? They're actually dangerously delicious. They're so good. I'm not even going to recommend you to try them because it's a dangerous game and I don't want to promote obesity and you will become obese if you start eating them. Okay, podcast done. It was actually really fun, wasn't it? Very enjoyable. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's literally just like us sitting having a chat. I was thinking that. I kind of forgot. It's like I always forget we're not just on a FaceTime. Yeah, and I kept making really weird faces at Lewis, but then I realised that his like producer is on it as literally, well. Literally, I kept forgetting you yeah. were there. I'm now making myself some food. I did deliver some avocado and bread. I am the laziest person ever. Uh, I will be making avocado and beans on toast, obviously. I would do like a big sandwich shop. Like, we have literally no food in our fridge. I mean, we've got a bit of food. We've got some leftover lentils, but... I'm actually going home on Monday. I just really, I, I'm not homesick, but I just, need, I haven't seen my mum and dad in so long. It's like the longest I've ever been without seeing them. So I'm going home for a week. And yeah, I'm going Monday morning. So it's only like two days away. So there's no point in me doing a big shop because realistically I'll probably be like eating out because it's the weekend. So I'm just gonna have to keep delivering like the essentials, which is ridiculous. It was like 15 quid for avocados. I need to reel it in. What? Yeah, I ordered a, a loaf of bread and two, and okay, to be fair, four avocados. Oh, okay. And avocados are pretty pricey. Four. I got four. Yeah, so making this, and then I need to start tidying my room again. I have been doing quite a lot of shopping recently, so I thought maybe I'd do a little bit of a haul, show you what I've been getting. So I'll do that once I've eaten my dinner. My lunch, what time is it? <laughs> it's like two o'clock. What time is it? Yeah, yeah two o'clock. Breakfast. We've been doing this recently. One time, what time did we get up? Like four, three. Three is like our usual wake up time. We woke up at golden hour. Yeah, one time we woke up at golden and hour. And then we'd eat breakfast at like 6 p.m. It's <laughs> terrifying. And then we have our dinner at literally like 4 a.m. And then I order Papa John's at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, she looks very red. Anyway, it is much later than today. I'm pretty sure it's like 6. And I've done fuck all all day. I mean, I ran a few errands. I had to like post stuff off, but like I wasn't going to vlog that because it's not very exciting. I just washed my hair. I did order delivery. I ordered my favorite. It's called Nate, and it's just the best chicken nuggets you'll ever get. And like, Lewis is a vegan. And he orders it all the time. We're obsessed. Has the neat arrived? Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Why did you tell me? I oh, wasn't sure. This thing to follow by Harry Styles. <laughs> anyway, so here are my nuggets. I get a large nuggets with four neat sauces. I don't know. I'm a saucy gal. Do you know what I mean? Oh, actually, I think one of them might be yours if you want it. Yeah, I did order two. Yeah, but I ordered three then. So yeah, you didn't order four. This is kind of awkward. So don't lie, because lying is a horrible trait. Dinner is served. Oh, by the way, Lewis is here, I forgot to say, but it's just like, he's never not here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I've finished my dinner and I've got a rise, so Flossie got me this for my birthday, but it took really long to deliver, but I'm not even gonna like, I'm not gonna slabber boy her, because you all know I'm obsessed. She got me Emma Chamberlain's coffee. I have lunch with this since the second she came out with it. She did do her full like, rate round with like beans and all, but that was after she ordered it, so I think we'll probably do another order. If this is really good, then we'll want to get another order anyway, with beans, like use it in our coffee machine. So I'm actually gonna brew that tonight, so I can have it tomorrow morning and update you what it's like, but obviously it, you have to brew overnight so I can't have it now but I will be making another coffee before I start getting ready I'm getting ready because oh I need to throw up my mouth because I'm going to the cinema tonight to see after two I am so excited I'm such a huge fan of after one I mean it's by far the worst movie I've ever watched in my life but here with Phineas Tiffin oh my god I'm obsessed now it's really bold to say this so I'm saying it with my chest 
I think I like Hero Phineas Tiffin more than Robert Pattinson. Hero FT could get it um, more than Robert Pattinson, I think. Also, Robert Pattinson just got engaged. Pain. I'm in pain. Also, if you didn't notice, I got new extensions put in. I just thought, like, for Halloween coming up, me talking about Halloween if it's, as if it's even happening. Like, it's gonna get cancelled this year, isn't it? But I just thought I want to have, like, really long hair for Halloween. Like, I like hair to my head to my ass, you know what I mean? So, I got, like, really long extensions put in that, like, literally touch my bum and I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I'm gonna go get ready now and then I'll do a bit of a haul because I keep getting deliveries and I, I like, what's the point in getting deliveries if I don't share it with people, if you know what I mean? And I would put it on my Instagram stories, but then I think I get quite annoyed people put on hauls in their Instagram story because I'm like they want to have to tap like my fingers going crazy tapping so like I'm not gonna be that person do you know what I mean also if you want a skincare routine I mean nothing's really changed this is the thing I would like to get some new skincare products but I'm scared because I know at the minute this works for my skin it's not doing anything amazing for my skin but it keeps it clear mm, sometimes so I don't want to change it but like I'm open to suggestions if anyone has any really good like holy grail will not break you out skincare let me know so I use my the Roche Posay Effaclar Duo and this kind of like keeps the keeps the spots at bay especially since we're in the London I have been suffering a bit more with spots it's probably the congestion I mean congestion pollution I have no idea what I just said I just I've just seen other people say that so I said it I, I don't even know if I've noticed a difference in my skin I just said it because other people said it bit of CeraVe moisturizing lotion and then we cannot forget the GOAT, the Revolution CBD spray. I think they owe Flossy a portion of all the profits they've made from this. Like, she has sold this product to every British girl that has YouTube app on their phone. Like, I'm just, I'm just, every, everyone I meet is like, yeah, I have a CBD spray from Flossy. Okay, yeah, I look really greasy, but it's just a spray, it's all wet. Who wants to see my view? God, I cry every time I look at it. You know, every time I go to my hairdressers, I cry. <laughs> it's a really, really nice drive. And like, I'm in the Uber, and I'm just like sitting there staring. I'm like, I can't believe it, actually, no. I do cry. I shed a tear every time. It's really embarrassing. I mean, well, the first time I cried was because my mom was screaming at me during the phone, but then the second time I went last week, I did cry on the way there. Because I was just like, what the fuck? Why am I here? Where am I? Do you know what I mean? I wasn't crying because I was like confused about where I was. I obviously knew where I was, but I was just like, you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Also, oh my god, I have to change my shades today. I fucking hate making my bed. It really stresses me out. It does end in tears most times. Like that mound there is a problem I don't want to deal with. Also, I've decided I fucking hate those leaves. Like I really want to get rid of them, but like it's such a waste and like I did spend a good like hour putting them up, so I'm not going to. I also did clean my room today if anyone's wondering. Isn't the carpet looking majestic? Right, I'll come back and I'm doing my haul. Why do I keep nearly throwing up my mouth? It's really, really concerning. Maybe I've got a trap gas. Okay, right, time for the haul. Most of this stuff is kind of like for autumn because I didn't really have any Oh, autumn, why did I say that? So really autumn, autumn, I don't really have any autumn clothes. I needed more like trousers, jumpers, jackets, etc. So that's what this haul is. Right, first up from Motel Rocks, I got this top. It's like got a wee cut out here and then it ties the back fun and then these trousers are a bit different for me so they're actually a wee bit big i got an extra small i think i should have got extra extra small but the size is kind of weird motel thing so i'm like a size 25 usually in jeans so if you're 25 i'd get extra extra small but they're these like black kind of like fabricy trousers i don't know how to explain them and they've got like a slit a split here which is very trendy at the minute love that we slit okay first outfit I'm enjoying, I like. Okay, so next up we have these black jeans and this top, it's really cool because at the back it's like all open. Okay, I probably should have gone for the extra, extra small in these jeans because they are still a bit big, but I can always use a belt or something to make them fit better, but they are a really cool fit, they're like really baggy. I really enjoy this top, I think it would look better with like a few necklaces and stuff, but I am yet to show you the accessories. Do you ever shut up? Where the fuck are you going? Alcoholic. Putting it on. It's all a show. It's all a show, you guys at home. Oh, you elbow me in the arm. It's really sore. Look how hairy my arms are. Wait. Normalized body hair 2020. I know, but they're just like really hairy. It's a bit dramatic. Oh my god, they're really. Hey. That's what you get for shaving your arms, loves. Oh, I'm gonna have a proper bruise. No, you're not. I am. This outfit's better. Okay, so next up we have this like matching jumper and sweats. I'm really enjoying this color. I kind of got a bit more of like a warm blonde. I think green goes really well with it. Also, this sounds like an ad, but like I swear it's not. I just like showing people what I got and like, I like seeing what other people got. Okay, so this next one is very different for me. Basically, I saw on the motel Instagram this girl wearing like this cool like two-piece suit with a wee black brother and I was like, I would like that to be me. So I went ahead and bought it and I actually think it's really cool. I mean, yes, I have absolutely fucking nowhere to wear it, but it's a topic coins and it's a nice thing to have in your wardrobe. You know me and CH Green, 
can't get enough of it. But guys, I don't know. It is quite, it's quite different for me, but I'm really enjoying. Maybe like if I get invited like a cool event or something I could wear it to, or maybe like a business meeting. I've never had a business meeting in my life. Okay, so next up is this brown corduroy shirt from ASOS. It's ASOS Med. I think it's like reclaimed vintage, but yeah, I love it so much. I think I'm pretty sure I got a medium, maybe? Maybe a large, who knows? And then while I was on ASOS, I thought, fuck it, I'll get a cheeky pair of sunglasses. I love in winter when people wear sunglasses. I think it looks so cool. I actually don't really wear sunglasses though, because I do find it really, really uncomfortable. And I feel like you can't see it properly. Like, I never wear them on holiday either, but um, I just saw these and I thought it'd be really rude not to. Aren't they really cool? Wait, are they? I think they are. They're like from Key and they're like square and brown. I've been loving brown recently. I went to this shop called Shop Etz. Never heard it before, but saw some fashion Instagrammer tag them. And I just, I've been really in my fashion Instagrammer recently. And I got this bag, which is quite different for me. It's like a gold chain, like fake crocodile. I think it could be really cool. Do you know what I mean? Like it is a bit, I don't know. Do you like it? I think it's quite cool. And then while I was there, I got some accessories. Love getting accessories. This shop also had like loads of really cool clothes. I was gonna get like some sweater vests and shirts from there but I just bought some sweater vests from Brandy Melville and I couldn't really justify it so I just got accessories instead so I got this big crocodile clip can't have enough of these you know what I mean I got these chunky gold hoops because I actually had a pair of chunky gold hoops and then I lost them because I lose every single pair of earrings I wear and then I got this gold bracelet I think it really looks like the Cartier one it's like my goal in life is to be able to buy like one of those Cartier bracelets or like you know the Cartier rings I think they're so nice but then again I don't know if I trust myself because I do lose every single piece of jewelry I own so instead on the store at shop they had just like a plain band i mean i've got really fat fingers and that does not look like it's gonna fit me oh guys i wish i oh, made you to get on my finger i have to like wear as a pinky ring but it is still nice i wish i had thin fingers you know when people have like finger gaps i'm like please how is that possible like do you do exercises for your fingers why do i have little like sausage i have sausage fingers so next is this week cropped hoodie i got it in brandy melville i'm i'm just loving brown recently i never used to wear brown obviously they do not go with these trousers but i just love this jumper so much i've been wearing it a lot recently i never went thrifting the other day which i never really do and i used to have these really nice adidas joggers and then i lost them i can't find them anywhere anymore so i bought a pair of just like adidas like tracksuit bottoms i don't know i haven't tried them on yet because obviously you can't try things on when you buy things at shops anymore it's really actually stressful because then you get home and they just don't fit you and then i'm too lazy to return things you know what i mean cool aren't they enjoying them oh they're actually a really nice fit i'm really enjoying them but yeah that is the end of my haul i need to get it ready now because i need to leave for the cinema soon and then that's what i'm really doing tonight maybe i'll like show you in the cinema but i highly thought i will because i can't really like video the movie also i wouldn't do that to my boy hero because then it might ruin my chances with him. So I wouldn't do him dirty like that. You just have to go see it yourself. So I'm just, I love supporting my boyfriend. Okay, so I'm wearing the trousers from Motel, like the wee slits at the bottom. And then this top I got from Urban Outfitters like years ago, but I only started wearing it recently again. And I'm obsessed with it. Isn't it really cool? It's got like a wee toggle here. And now I am doing my hair. When I got my hair done, he did this really cool thing. I feel like everyone's doing it at the minute. It's like when you have like this bit curled and it kind of goes back a wee bit. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I saw a girl on TikTok do a bit of a tutorial for it. So I'm gonna try try do it now and update you because you do it with straighteners i'm pretty terrible at anything to do with your hair so i would not hold your breath also i figured out you see with these trousers if you put um a shoelace around the back and like tie it you can like make because i feel like a belt would ruin it but it, like makes it nice and fit around the waist because they're a really good length so i think if i got a smaller size they'd be too short on me the waist is too big so that's just the life hack for you i feel like she like rolls it back like that and then <laughs> what i'm really struggling Oh, I did it again! What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to wear my hair straight. Guys, why can't why can I not do it? I'd love to be able to do it. Hair tutorial! Right, fuck it, I'm wearing my hair straight. I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. What jacket should I wear? I kinda hate this time of year because I hate wearing jackets. If I had a North Face, I could wear a jacket. I need to get one. I don't know why I keep pushing it off. I mean I haven't really done anything the past week. I could have easily got one, but here we are. Did anyone else go through a a rock phase when they were younger because i was in the car the other day with lewis and i was putting on songs i didn't know any of them but i knew them all like did anyone listen to like blink 182 when they were younger like that was really my shit blink 182 some 41 or oh, some 41 was my shit some 41 fat lip was my childhood song which is ridiculous it's like your mom should have had an abortion 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 like what also i'm wearing my new accessories also yes i know i'm pale okay my hand does not match my face and it's really upsetting and I don't want to be reminded of it, okay? I just need to be back on holiday and have that holiday tan immediately. Okay, sideburns. Guys, I really am obsessed with these sunglasses. Key? Quay? Quay? Australia? Who knows? Key? I think it's Key Australia. Fun. All my sunglasses are from Key Australia, actually, because they sent me a pair. But I bought these with my own money because... 
don't know actually why that's probably a bit of a waste of money guys all i've been listening to when i run recently is glue by bicep so this is what i do basically when i'm running i put my earphones in and i put on glue by bicep and i picture myself in a nike ad like a nike running ad i like jessica and a snore behind me and i'm like winning in the track race um i don't really know the context of this next part i just start like going into like my childhood traumas so with no warning i had like the worst nerves when it came to running like i would cry all the night before my mom would fucking force me to go it was terrible like me and my best friend susie because we went to primary school together and we like did cross countries when we were in primary school we used to like run to the toilet like in school and stink up the whole toilet because we had such bad nervous pose also speaking of my primary school you know the fall that's on netflix at the minute it was filmed in my primary school and because like they can be bothered like go find other extras like to be in the Programs so they just said to our school like can we just use half the kids in your school and I wasn't fucking picked I've never been so fucking fuming in my life. I could have been in the fall Anyway, also did you know glue you know that song? Those people went to my school. Isn't that really fun? God, I've got a very famous alumni. First I've got Bicep and then I've got not that anyway, it's our DJs <laughs> So as if they're like fucking Britney Spears. And then I got Jamie Dornan. And then I got the person who split the album. Oh, I emailed my school, by the way, and asked what I got. I thought I got ABB. Apparently I got three Bs, which I'm fucking raging about. Because remember in my last video, I was like, I don't know what I got my levels. I got three Bs. But like, I just served an A in drama. I'm the most dramatic person you'll ever meet. Like, how did I not get a fucking A in drama? Fuming, fuming isn't the word. Especially because my teacher literally told me she was going to give me an A. But yeah, it's fine. Three Bs. I can deal with it. It's like very average. But what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, I've been chatting for too long. I'm gonna go to the cinema. Bye. I can't wait to see him. Hero Phineas Stephen. How my children? Hero Phineas Stephen. I'm free most Tuesdays and Thursday evenings. Good morning. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Feeling like a widow in that jumper dress. <laughs> Look how long this jumper is for some reason. It's like <laughs> jumper dress. Anyway, so um, I've just woken up. It is, I think, around one. So that's actually decent for me. Uh, didn't get to sleep till half seven. So I haven't had a great sleep. Anyway, I am in the midst of getting ready because we are going to a brunch today. Our friends just made this like bottomless brunch thing. So we just decided, well, I'll make an appearance. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting ready for that now. I meant to leave in like half an hour. Not quite ready. It's also like fancy and I don't really own fancy clothes to be honest. So I don't really know what I'm going to wear. But we'll jump at her when it comes to it. And first of all, because I've not had that much sleep, it is essential that I have some coffee. And you know what I brewed last night? Emma Chamberlain coffee. Shall I fart? <laughs> Guys, I think I made the consecutive decision. I'm going to stop farting in my videos because it's really like, it's car for defamation at this point. Is that a word? What am I getting out of it? Do you know what I mean? It's not as if anyone enjoys it. I don't enjoy it. Well, I actually thoroughly enjoy it, but I don't enjoy watching it back. Okay, got our cups of ice. Well, you don't understand how excited I am. I feel like I've been watching Emma Chamberlain drink this coffee for like God knows how long at this point. And I'm finally getting to try it. It's quite interesting because it's like a literal tea bag. Ooh. Mmm, exciting. So I've just put some almond milk in it. I'll pour one sweetened, you know me. Elsie's gonna go for some my protein vanilla flavor drops. I'm gonna go for some my protein banana flavor drops just because I want this to be a fair decision and if I think it's good or not. And I have banana drops in all my coffee, so it's only fair. Anyway, promiscuous but you all red okay angles. Do have a double chin? Oh my god, I do! Don't look at that. Cheers. nice it's nice i actually really like it it's kind of hazelnutty mmm it's not as strong as i expected i don't think i wasn't expecting strong though the starbucks cold brew is quite mild oh i suppose this is cold brew it's not being coffee what i'm used to it but i am enjoying it actually do you know i'm really liking it the more i drink it delicious i feel like i'm her like i feel like i'm connected to her in some way because she drinks this in the morning i'm experiencing what goes on in her mouth right now <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah do you know what i mean though yeah like, like I, we're having this we we right now are having the same sensation that emma chamberlain has like we're going through the same sensation and that's like a really hard thing to capture i feel connected oh wait should i fart yeah. <laughs> and on that note i will be ending the vlog there um hope you enjoyed it that was what a 24 hours of my life is like didn't get up to much i don't really do much today today i did go out after that and get a bit turned at brunch uh, as i should but yeah, that's about the height of it. Uh, I'm at home now. I'm so bored. Also, should I stop farting my videos? Guys, like, do I ever expect to get a boyfriend at this point? Because it's like, it's seriously self-sabotage. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. 
Did you just hear my tummy? Oh my god, that was so loud. Bye!